All right, so welcome. Well, today I'm gonna open up the OpenCV AI kit. Um, so let's do that. Um, well, in, in fact, I actually already opened a little bit of it. So let me just open it again <laughs> so you can see what's inside. Um, so this kit is quite special. The background story were um, so Brandon actually from the Sonius, that's how I say it. Um, he sent me over this and then I'm working with Intel right now and then So I'm just helping out and then want to see what kind of demo we can be with this So get back to this um, when you open this you get the card which gives you the documentations Which is great I mean, directly to set up. This is the setup instructions co-example and more That's great. Um, and then you also have a piece of paper a cardboard supposed to be a sticker. So if you go to Discord today, I think you will see a, a discussion about how you can claim the actual sticker. So definitely go and check it out on the Discord server. Um, and yep, so that's the instructions. Uh, back about myself too, I'm actually working for Intel as the evangelist. So that's why I'm actually doing this for fun uh, as well. Fun as work. So you're also given this power supply. So um, if you look at this carefully, this is for the USA. Uh, the power rating of this, um, let me make sure this is nice and clean. Um, it's five volt, three amps, 15 watt. Um, so also in the discussion, we talk about if you really need this. Uh, short answer is yes, please use it. Um, don't risk, um, <laughs> you know, this will work automatically uh, because USB has a lot of different variants and then sometimes it may not power supply properly. So this is the camera itself. Okay, let's get into this. Um, so this is a depth sensing version of this. Hope you can see that. You can see the camera lens. So there's three lenses in total. I think there's the one RGB, uh, two monochrome. And let's see if I can pull out the spec of that camera. Oh, come on. Where's my pen? There we go. Uh, so, okay, I'll read this real quickly. So this has actually um, global shutter, which is great. And then the image, image sensor is um, OV9282. So, and it can go up to 120 hertz, which is a great thing. Um, the resolution, it says it's one megapixel. I assume this is each of those, what it can resolve to. And with about diagonal 81 degree field of view. Well, I think what's important to me right now is, um, okay, this is just a depth sensor, right? I mean, depth sensing device, right? Uh, I don't see any L LED IRO, or, so basically it is a passive. So what it means is it needs good lighting, it needs good texture um, based on the scene. And, and the thing about this is like the mounting brackets at the, I mean the banking, the, the hole is at the back. So when you, using this device, you definitely want to get a tripod that looks like this. So a tripod that allows you to go 90 degrees. So again, thanks Brandon for sending me this. Um, so the way it works is now if you mount this together. Okay, I don't want to break it. Hold on. There we go. Now you can have this... I don't know, where... here. This point at you. Instead of pointing to the sky, often time when you have a tripod without this uh, ball head. Um, I forgot the price about this, I'll put it in the link below, but definitely heavily, like, if you don't have it, you will have a lot of problem trying to position this correctly, but with this right now, it looks pretty complete, especially the legs are pretty bendy, oopsie, and then you can definitely, yeah, set up a nice rigid camera setup. So, nonetheless, uh, it comes with a cable. Uh, the bottom of the box, you have a cleaning lens, I mean, wait, lens cleaning cloth. I don't know, I don't think I will ever rub it. I will try to avoid cleaning it if I don't have to. And I opened this already, but you can see there's a cable, which is about a meter long. That's a type C USB 3.0. I also saw discussion about how long this can get. If you get a very high quality 2 meters one, maybe okay. Definitely you want to double check on the manufacturers. And then I built devices before in the past with USB free 
it, it drop off, you know, really based on the quality of like how they manufacture it. So you may want to go with one that's, um, you know, a little bit thicker and better shielding and everything if you go longer. Well, if you ask me, this is what we have in the box. Um, except the tripod, I'll say. So in the box we have instructions, a sticker that doesn't stick. Sorry about that, Brennan. Um, and then you have a cable, a camera, um, and a power supply. So when you put it all together, it's a little bit of a work, you know, with all this cable. But guess what? I think if you do it correctly with this tripod, just do some cable management, it's good to go. And then you, and that's it for the setup. All right, that's it for the very rough unboxing. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you guys.